How to turn the pump on. To turn the pump on, hold the on-off button down until it beeps. The serial number and the software version will be displayed on the screen. The pump defaults to the last rate used. The bottom of the screen always indicates which value is currently displayed, rate, dose, or volume. Programming the pump, rate, and dose. When programming rate and dose, it is important to remember the difference between the two. The rate is the feeding rate per hour in milliliters, and the dose is the amount of formula to be delivered during the feeding. To change the rate, press the plus or minus key. If the clear button in the upper right hand corner is pressed, the pump will clear to the lowest possible value, which is 0.1 milliliter. The feeding rate and dose are changed in increments of 0.1 milliliter up to 10 milliliters. Once 10 milliliters is reached, the numbers will increase in increments of one milliliter. The longer the plus key is pressed, the faster the rate will increase. Press the rate dose button to set the dose. If clear is pressed, it will default to the lowest possible value, which is 0.1 milliliter. To increase the dose, hold down the plus key. The longer the plus key is pressed, the faster the dose will increase. Advancing in single digits and then increments of 10. After 3,000 milliliters is reached, the last setting displayed is I and F, infinite dose. When a dose is set, the pump runs until the dose is delivered. The pump alarms and dose done is displayed. With an infinite dose, the pump will not display dose done. But when the bag is empty, it will display no food or no flow in then alarm and stop infusing. Once your rate and dose have been entered, press the run pause button to initiate the feeding. The INT or interval feature provides the option to do cycle feeding. Users can set the pump to deliver a prescribed dose at a specific rate for a particular time. Pause for a set amount of time and then feed the same dose again at the same rate. The pump will repeat the cycle until the bag is empty. Feeding interval. Feed a prescribed dose at a specific rate and time, pause, and automatically repeat. The feeding interval is the time period from the start of one dose and the start of the next dose. It is the combination of the feeding and the pause time. For example, to program a 150 milliliter dose delivered at 75 milliliters per hour every three hours, set the rate at 75. Then use the clear button in the upper right hand corner to zero out the existing dose setting. Then press the plus key to increase the dose to 150 milliliters at a feeding rate of 75 milliliters per hour. The time to deliver that dose is two hours. To set the interval, press the feed INT button. Initially, the screen displays none. To set an interval, press the plus key and the first compatible interval appears, which is in this case, two hours. The pump automatically calculates the minimum number of hours it will take to deliver the rate and dose combination. Press the plus button to increase the interval to three hours. This program will feed the 150 milliliter dose at 75 milliliters per hour for two hours and then pause for one hour. During the pause, the display will read next dose. Then give the number of hours and minutes until the feeding will be repeated. The display will show the run symbol flashing without the arcs rotating around it. The pump will repeat this cycle until the bag is empty or until it is stopped by the user. This may be a good option for ambulatory use for patients who want the pump to deliver doses throughout the day. The prescribing clinician should determine whether the program dose, infinite dose, or which interval feeding setting is most appropriate for the patient. If a continuous feed is desired with the infinite dose setting, the delivery should be monitored and proper amounts of additional food should be added prior to food depletion in the bag or bottle. The infinite dose or interval feeding option should not be used for patients, both adults and children, who are seriously health compromised 
or who are extremely sensitive to receiving air in the stomach with an enteral feeding. It is recommended that a single feeding regimen for specific dose be used for this particular user group. Use only commercially available pre-packed or commercially prepared feeding solutions formulated for use with a feeding pump that are prescribed by a licensed healthcare provider, dietitian, or nutritionist. To ensure optimal operation, it is recommended that all users periodically clean and maintain the pump's optical sensors according to manufacturer's recommendations. If the infinite dose setting is used with a planned discontinuation after food is delivered from the bag or bottle, allow all food to move through the pump. The pump will alarm when the feeding cycle is complete. Monitor the pump and feed flow to ensure the appropriate dose has been received by the patient.